Hello and welcome to the show. So today I am playing Trackmania 2 Stadium. Uh, I'm going to start by saying I apologise if I sound a bit weird or if my voice suddenly dies in the middle of this video. I have not been feeling particularly well the last couple of days and I've left it as long as I could but I'm going to have to do this video as it is. Uh, so yeah, this might be shorter than normal. I'm going to make the video until my throat gives up and the fact that I've had to do this recording three times now hasn't really helped. So yeah, uh, I'm sorry about that also while i'm on the subject i shall give uh, a bit of advanced warning tomorrow's video won't be a racing guide it's going to be a pre-recorded podcast that me and daniel did a few days ago because i really can't be bothered to fight that right now um, and will it roll could be a bit shorter than normal as well it really depends on how i feel hopefully next week things should be getting back to normal we've got some pre-recorded stuff um for some of the challenges so yeah ho hopefully Things will be better then. Um, anyway, let's get into this game. Uh, I really quite like this game. Uh, <laughs> right, where are we going to go? We're going to go to here. Now, the best way to sort of sum up this game, really, is you remember when you were a kid, or you m maybe you're a kid now, uh, and you have the big Hot Wheels tracks. You know, the ones with the big loops and the rolls and the jumps and all of that kind of thing. And you'd send your car down it, and it would reach the bottom like 10% of the time, but it would still be quite fun because your car would end up flinging off into something, uh, and it would be kind of all very silly fun. Well, this game is basically that, except for you control the car that gets fired down the course. And that, that pretty much sums it up. Um, <laughs> Yeah, oh crap, straight into a pillar. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it kind of reminds me actually of Trials. Trials, uh, whatever, HD and the other one, I've forgotten what the newer one of the two was called. Um, yeah, it reminds me very much of Trials uh, in the, the sort of, oh crap, that's all, gone, that's all gone horribly wrong, of the sort of quick fire levels, don't normally last more than a minute at most, um, and you make one mistake and that's it, so you'll just restart. Um, <laughs> It's a really quite an entertaining game. Ooh, go around the bank curb, and down there we go. I don't know where I'm going anymore. Uh, oh crap! There we go through that gap. Oh, no. Make that turn. So I am just about. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, this is a. Um, that's that's pretty much what this game is. It's a time trial. Uh, the bonnets come off. Uh, it's pretty much a time trial against the clock. Uh, if you're doing single player, I got a gold medal for that. That was a terrible run. Uh, <laughs> It's basically a time trial against a ghost time. It is very, very addicting, though, um, when it comes to trying to get that gold medals or trying to beat your own times or when it comes to online. It is very, very addictive trying to get that little bit faster because you know, the runs are very, very short, so you can restart. You know, If you screw up, you've only lost sort of 30 seconds. You can just go again, and you will be surprised how much time you will waste trying to get that gold medal or trying to beat somebody or whatever it is that you're, you're aiming to do because, yeah, <laughs> it certainly does fly... Uh, when you're playing on this game. And where am I going now? I don't know. I don't know any of these tracks, uh, which is always fun. Oh, over this way. I know what they normally do with the loops. Uh, oh, there's a gap there. Oh, now I'm free winning. Uh, okay, there we go. I'd like some power back. Thank you very much. And oh, there's... Oh, God. That arrow confused me. <laughs> there are dirt sections as well um, on here, as you will notice, where your car will handle quite a bit differently. Uh, it will slide about, and it won't really turn very well which is um, always interesting when they throw them into the high-speed uh, courses. That's not always that fun. I will point out, actually, as I forgot to at the start, I am using a kind of a mod for the skin of the car. Normally, it's a sort of single-seater Formula Ford-style car. Uh, you will have seen on the, sort of the opening replay. Oh, I've nearly done the same mistake again. Blim, uh, misleading an arrow. It's normally like this single-seater car. Um, that you've seen on the opening kind of cut CD sort of bit. Uh, however, I have a mod for a Ford Capri race car thing because it was oh, post because it's orange and because I'm fancying something a little bit different. Uh, and this was one of the top downloaded things. It's all on the Steam Workshop. It's literally just click a button and it installs, which is fantastic. I love mods like that. I I like mods for PC games, like things like Feed the Beast and Tech It and all that kind of thing for Minecraft. The problem is they're such a nightmare to get working normally. Luckily, the Steam Workshop thing is very straightforward, which is useful for people like me who know absolutely nothing about computers. Um, so that's a good thing. Uh, I want to complete this course now. Ooh, that's taking a little bit more speed over there than I expected. Okay, where are we going? We're going up here, and then we go fire down here through this bit, and then there's a post somewhere. Avoid the... Oh, no, that's not gone well. <laughs> That's a very nasty crash, that one. Um, yeah, the I don't know what the other skins are. I've, I haven't been playing this game a hugely long time. I don't know what the other skins are like, but this uh, Ford actually has damage, which is something that's not there on the on the normal car. 
bits will bend and the bonnet will fall off and the windows will smash. I haven't, like, you know, I think, don't think you can total it as such, but it is just kind of visual damage. But that's kind of cool. Uh, right, we want to go over here, over this bit, and then on the boost pad thing down here. Then we go up this bit, and then there's a pole in a minute that we want to avoid, and no, that's something else we wanted to avoid. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> I had to pick a hard level. Ah, uh, dear. As far as single player goes, it's not the most riveting of games. Uh, there is just a selection of uh, events. I'm doing the medium difficulty. I'm just showing you the medium difficulty events at the moment. This track is a real blooming pain to get a decent time on. Some of the the, the very easy tracks will not take you very long at all. Um, the, the, well, the higher you go up, the longer it's probably going to take you to do. But um, yeah, the single player is not the most exciting uh, thing in the world. As far as variation goes, it is literally a time trial. There is the occasional one that's like a three lap race, but they kind of are less, are less fun, I would say, because they're, they're tr sort of three or four minutes instead of 30 seconds. And this game doesn't really lend itself to long races um, because you're going to make mistakes quite a lot because of the speeds and everything. So it's a lot better to have a short race that you can just restart uh, and not worry about losing sort of loads of time in. Uh, so yeah, the, the the multiple lap ones aren't that much fun. But hey, I got a gold medal. There you go. See, it was worth me being persistent. Um, anyway, I'm going to go on the online section. I'm going to go find a, a lobby. Uh, because this game really is quite fantastic online. I mean, it's not, again, it's not particularly... doesn't do anything fancy. Uh, it's just you racing against a load of other people. However, what it is good is for the user-generated tracks. Much like on Trials, um, where you anybody can build a track, you can upload it to the whatever the hell they call it i can't remember what they call it in trials now and then it can be downloaded and it can be put in any playlist basically um on here the very very similar thing i won't show you the track editor because i don't have a clue how it works i spent two minutes looking at it and got befuddled and left it so yeah i'm i'm not particularly fantastic with that kind of thing i might have a look at it uh, at another point but um yeah anybody can build a track so there are many many hundreds of thousands of tracks um, going around on the on the online servers. Oh, damn, I've joined this race with 15 seconds left on the timer. Well, fantastic. Um, so yeah, there, there are so many uh, of these tracks. I've played a few hours of this online and I haven't seen the same track twice. Ooh, well, um, that's how many there are. So there is potential kind of endless variation on this game. There's endless tracks to keep trying. And of course there are new tracks being made every day. So yeah, you won't run out of things to do. Oh god dear, my voice is really starting to hurt now. I will show you one online race and you will see how bad I am. Again, much like Trials, everybody is better than me <laughs> when it comes to online. I, I would like to think I was fairly good at this when I play single player. I can get uh, normally silver, I can get gold if I actually try um, a few times on a level. When I go online on here, I'm not that fast. Everybody can find speed that I just can't. Everybody's much faster than me. Um, so, yeah, if you do go play this game online, prepare to be sort of beaten by everybody. Um, I think I've had one race where I came on the podium, and I was very pleased. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a very tricky game, this one. Well, I, I guess people have been playing it for a long time and know what they're doing, unlike me. So, what are we doing on this level? Oh, dear, there looks... Oh, God, that doesn't look fun. That doesn't look fun. Missed it completely. Uh, wee and floor. Uh, I didn't even land it. Oh god, dear. there are some really mean tracks as well. Like, really, really tricky tracks um, in, the, in the online bit on here. Uh, of course, because they're all user-generated, there are some bright pain. And this start bit does not look much fun. And, oh, no, I missed it again. I'm sure there'll be people on here, or people watching this, who are actually good at this game. And are not too pleased about my terrible driving. But, um, yeah, you, you get the idea of this. Now, as far as criticisms go for the game, well, the first one is that a lot of the online lobbies you will end up playing in, uh, basically how it works is it's kind of a playlist of levels, so it rotates every kind of five minutes, which is all right for the easier tracks, because after five minutes, you know, you've kind of got the hang of it, and everybody's completing it. The problem is, when you come to a track like this, like a, well, I don't know how tough this track is after this initial kind of opening jump, when you come to some of the trickier tracks, um, where you need really more than five minutes to kind of get the hang of them, Ooh, oh, it's on two wheels there. Ooh, avoid that thing. Um, it's kind of it's really irritating when you've spent five minutes and you've almost got the oh crap. Uh, you've almost got this track sorted. You almost can get the perfect run on it, and then it just changes track on you. Um, that's very very irritating uh, when that happens. So yeah, I think the servers themselves can actually change it because I was in one lobby, just one lobby I've seen that has a slightly longer timer. 
But um, yeah, that's that's kind of irritating. Uh, other criticisms, as you will see now, as I promptly crash, when you restart, there is a three second countdown every single time. Why do I need a countdown? Why are you holding me for three seconds before I go every single time? Let's face it, you're going to restart an awful lot because you're going to crash, especially if you crash here on sort of the opening section. Now, why is it having to give me a three second restart? Oh, God's sake. <laughs> every single time. That gets a bit irritating. I. It doesn't sound like much now, but when you play this game, you will kind of understand. A game that's sort of all about quick fire rounds and very quick courses, very high speeds. I don't see the necessity of a uh, oh god of a, of a countdown sort of timer. I guess it is so that they can start the clock accurately, but surely they could just have a line, um, like as a timing line, if you like, across the start finish line. So the minute your car moves, it starts the clock then, or the minute the car crosses that line, sorry, it starts the clock then. That would make more sense to me, but uh, it, it doesn't work like that on here. I've really not done a good job of showing you this level. Right. Oh, I got it right. Well, I kind of got it okay. I didn't have a big crash this time. So we go through here and not crash on the dirty uh, bit. And then up this bit and don't fall off it. Yes, look at that. And then I don't know where I'm going anymore. <gasps> Finish line. I completed the course. Woohoo. Yay. Um, oh, I'm 13th. Unlucky for some. <laughs> yeah, there, there are plenty of tracks online. You're never going to really get... Well, I say you're never going to get bored. If you if you like Trials, you will like this game. This is basically Trials just with a car. And you don't have to worry about leaning backwards and forwards. Um, I guess it's kind of a bit of a simplified Trials. But rather... Well, I, I say it's... Yeah, it's basically Trials with a car. You don't have to worry about sort of the lean of the bike. But then you have to worry about corners. Whereas on Trials, it's all in a straight line. Um... Yeah, if you like, if you enjoyed Trials, if you liked playing Trials, I really, really do recommend this game because it is very, very good fun. Can be a little bit irritating um, at times. It is a fairly, or can be fairly tricky on some of the online levels. Uh, I will point out at the moment that I am driving this on a keyboard. The handling is really good on here. It works absolutely fine on the keyboard. I haven't had to resort to plugging in an Xbox controller, um, which is which is always a good thing in a race game. Very rare that a racing game actually works. I say racing game. Um, it's a driving, I wouldn't say this is a proper racing game, it's actually, oh, that's all gone wrong. Um, but yeah, it works perfectly fine on the keyboard. Uh, as far as price goes, I got this in a Steam sale, it was on sale, I don't know, a week or two ago probably. I got it for like 2 99 For that sort of money, it's definitely worth it. It's def <laughs> definitely worth 3 quid because uh, there is so much to go through. I'm not sure how much it is normally, I'm not sure if it's $8.99 um, or whether that was on sale as well, it might be a little bit more. Uh, for eight quid or for eight nine quid, I would still recommend this game. I think it is still a very good game. Oh damn, I'm not quite on the leaderboard. I'm going to run out of time. Damn it. Um, it's yeah, it's still it's still a good fun game. I, it won't be for everybody. Uh, as I said, as far as variety goes, there isn't a huge amount of it. But um, yeah, I I would still recommend it. I would still say give it a go. I'm not sure if there is a demo or not for it. But um, yeah, it, it's quite entertaining really, and I'm going to have a big crash. <laughs> anyway, my voice has given up, and I think my brain is as well, because it is stupidly warm in my room. Anyway, thank you very much for watching everybody, and hopefully things will be back to normal soon, and hopefully my voice will still function. Uh, however, until next time, goodbye.